yelling and swearing at people and yeah. using obscene language in a public setting. Well, you're in a public for, setting and you're like using California. obscene language and that's upsetting multiple people, which is a violation of law. What I just did is free speech. Foul language in a public setting, if it disturbs somebody, is not Aaron, free I can speech. Put, I can want. say that in public. You can't. Though. Unless I'm doing it to cause a disturbance. That's, it's my general language. Right. I'm allowed to say whatever if, I but want. If, if somebody's offended by it, though, it becomes... You're not the feelings police, dude. Right, it's right. freedom of speech. Right. Do you it, really it want to enforce something like that? Doesn't. Everybody right. knows you have no job. I, and I told you that. already once about the language. I'm not going to tell you again, okay? We, yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. That's enough. They're offended by it. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back, sir. What's good, YouTube? It's BBCast back in with another video and another reaction. And in today's video is from Co-host New York, where this guy was standing outside with this sign to display how he feels about this shop right here. They did some work on his car and it wasn't that good and he got screwed over, so he decided to hold a sign out here. They called the cops and then the cops came out there and they are like, you know, you got free speech and everything. Then he says a few curse words and the cops are like, oh, well, you know, you offended these people and I'm going to take you to jail. And it gets pretty crazy. I'm going to watch it, get my reaction. Let me know what y'all think about the comment section and let's get into the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a different one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my so God. you've got a disgruntled customer. Yes. Who's out there exercising his reason. First Amendment rights. Yes. To, uh, <laughs> to put up a sign that... Six is your six counter. That your guy it's believes you're getting damaged. Six is your six. Yeah. He was calling our customer name. And the reason his voice is being disrespectful. Yep. It's not like we didn't take his tire off and look at it. He's suggesting that... We, we repaired his car yesterday, six zero six and uh, he came in this morning saying his tire was flat, and we curbed the tire, and we, you know, we hit the curb, punctured his tire, so I took the tire off, and soaked it down, and it's clearly leaking from the valve stem, the valve stem cord. I said, look at this cord, it's two hundred dollars tire, it's all fun, it's mm -hmm. being very disrespectful and aggressive, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Asked Todd to see if he could do something for a man. And then he came he came in here and was Yeah, yeah, well, very much was so. Nasty. Yeah. What was he saying to you guys? Um well he started out being um you know calm. He's like, you know, I'm not saying anything, but uh, you know, tire was full yesterday. When I left here it was flat, so I said, you know, take a look at it and see you know, see what we're doing and yeah. I, I, I took the tire off, I soaked it all up and the only leak that I see from the tire is the actual core and valve stem. I said, you need a valve stem, but on that to TPMS where he has the TPMS uh, like to chip set and a little metal yeah. valve stem. So yeah, and it's not like a rubber one that you put on a conventional tire. So where's his car now? His wife has it. Six his wife has it. Car. Went to work, so yeah, so the, so the tire is full now, and his yeah. wife's yeah. using yeah. it, driving. You can clear six two one three. Did he owe you money? Ontario at this time? sergeant. Oh, he put forty one pounds of pressure in it yesterday, and it had thirty nine this morning. So it's not like it's completely flat, but it has a very yeah. small leak from the valve stem. Yeah, that's really the truth. Okay. And is he straight with you? Is he square with you money wise? Oh, yeah, like money wise, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. And, but, the, but then he came in here. Yeah, what was he saying to this young lady? Just C U N T. Six zero six Yeah, I'm a fucking yeah. bitch. Six zero six. Go ahead. Yeah. For no, yeah. for no, no reason. Because I was telling him. Do you trust my organization? Well, I'm from Connecticut. Seems like a peach, huh? Yeah. Did you talk to him yet? Not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, so the biggest thing is he's obviously just a disgruntled customer. But the biggest thing is he was in here causing a problem. She's a customer and he's in here calling her names and, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get mouthy it. with her. I, and like I do too. It's just cringe. It makes me cringe. I don't need to do I'm talking to you. This is what I think. I'm going to walk in and talk to you. Right 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 no, I came in here and picked up my car. Yeah, for He yeah. complained about this condition. I got it back in and then when he asked me to leave, I left. And now I'm on a public sidewalk. Anything else? So what did you say to the customer in there? I don't answer questions. And I... What did you say to the customer? If you want to get a judge to like order me to do it, then I would do it. But a judge to order you to answer questions? Yeah, they're the only one that can make you answer a question. So, really? Yeah. Not really quite how that works. I mean, okay, it's especially virtually when, enough, when, I don't when, have to when, answer your question. when we're conducting an investigation, which we Absolutely. are, because there's an accusation that you were in there, yeah. that you're in there yelling and swearing at people and okay. using obscene language in a public setting. Okay. Okay, which is Something called dis property, which is called anyway. disorderly conduct. Yeah. It's a public setting. It doesn't yeah. matter whether it's yeah. public property yeah. or not. For a when you're in a public setting and you're using obscene language 
and that's upsetting multiple people in there, then it's what's called disorderly conduct. In other words, this officer is saying that if you hurt anyone's feelings, I'm going to take you to jail. Which is a violation of law. And when we're conducting that investigation, you are obligated to do things like give your name, date of birth, things oh, like yeah, that. Sure. Identify yourself, okay? If you're so going to so that, I'll give you that. If I'm you want to stand out here, questions. and if you want to stand out here and hold up a sign, you can. The oh, problem no. is, is when you cross the line and you go in and you start yelling and swearing at people, oh, that's okay. a problem. This that's morning, a, that's the violation of law. I'll tell you this. Okay. this morning, Do you have identification on you, sir? To get my car. No. Okay. What's your last name? Or, I'm sorry. I complained about the condition of my car. Okay. What's your last name, sir? How do you spell that, Mr. And you're saying if I don't give it to you, you'll arrest me, right? It's, dis it's considered going obstruction. To me if I don't give you it's my considered name. obstruction if you don't because we're conducting an investigation. Okay. Right. So it's, it's, it's called obstruction. I'm just of verifying. Yeah. Yep. I'm What's your first name, sir? Connor. C O N N E R. And so what happened with your vehicle? What's the problem that's got you this upset that you're going to take your time off? I dropped my vehicle off here time yesterday. Off. First yeah. I had to wait three weeks for them to see it. Uh, okay. Make three different appointments for them to see it. Yeah. But when I got it back, the back right tire was completely flat. It's a brand new tire, $200. Going they put they put the tire on here? No, they didn't have to do anything to the tires. Okay. And I, you know, I got my car back. The tire was completely flat. Yeah. Go fill it up. It's flat 20 minutes later. Yeah. So something happened in the time it was here. I can't prove it, which is totally justifiable. Valid. Can't prove it, so they're not obligated. But I know that something happened to my tire here. Yeah. So I'm just holding a sign up on public sidewalk. And what did they do about the tire? They didn't. When you said something, they, they did, said, it, did they not they, make it right at all? My brought it here this morning because we just picked it up last night. Yeah. And he checked it. Yeah. And they couldn't find any bubbles coming out except from the valve stem. Right. And he didn't want to do anything about it. And then. When I got here, he tried saying that there's no leak. I said, you saw the bubbles coming out of the valve stem. Yeah, he told me there was a, a yeah, leak. Uh, there seemed to be a leak out of the valve stem. You're starting to irritate me. Get out of here. And so I walked out, and however that went, and I left. Odd way to spend your time over a valve stem. I'm going to be here every week. Dude. <laughs> every week I'm going to be right in this spot with this sign. Hey, listen to me. And you can tell them that. Tell them not to waste your time calling you down here anymore yeah. unless I start screaming. Well, like, like, like I said, the problem is it's not so much you standing here. The problem is when you go inside and you start oh, using obscene language, you can't. That, but they came out here and said I was going to get arrested for slander. Oh, wow. Well, so they're idiots. You've got First Amendment rights. I know I'm that. I'm fully aware of that. Yeah, no, no big deal. But, like I said, when you go in and you start harassing customers, it's a different thing. Okay, it's a different story. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not going to go back on their property and whatever I said in my... 6207 County. You copy a name and date of birth. You knew there was a problem with that back right tire. You were saying that the... Yeah, I picked it up yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I saw you trying flat. to... Uh, Lou, you were spraying water on it, trying to look for a leak last night. Did you find a leak while you were doing that? Just in the stem. Just in that stem, same I way. I wish I found a leak because I could have plugged it, but it's in the stem. Yeah. I don't know what the... And you think that they did something to it that... I think that I know for... Listen, I don't have, like, picture evidence that my tire wasn't flat when I dropped it off. Is so that I'm not two, to, like, zero that. Two. Yeah, right. I personally know that I dropped my car off and my tire pressure light wasn't on, mm -hmm. and my car didn't feel like I had a flat tire, and then eight hours late, six to eight hours later, Can I picked up and it's station. completely flat. She's and so I have to wonder, she's all right, looking so to see like if she left her phone in the bathroom. Is there a right, phone right, right, right. Fill right. Up? Or a major and leak. And 20 yeah. minutes later, it's flat again. So something happened. So Because I got in my car terrible. yesterday morning. It wasn't flat. It yeah. wouldn't have been flat then. Yeah. And drove it over here. And it was okay. Right. And as I'm talking to him about it, he wants to say, you're starting to irritate me because I'm not just taking no for an answer and walks away. Yeah. And now I'll be here every week, dude, with this sign. That's perfectly legal. Every week I'm going to be here. Go tell your boss. Every week, dude. All right. You've picked hey, on somebody that, that has listen, nothing listen. but time, dude. Again, the language, the language. It's free speech. No, it's not. Yes, just so you is. know when you're... Yes, it is. This is where education is really important because you really got this officer saying that you can't say the F word in public, that it's illegal, that you could get arrested. And like you're going to see just how uneducated this officer is. Foul language in a public setting, if it disturbs somebody, is not Aaron, free I speech. I can put on the back of my truck. Okay? You can say that to me all you I want. I can say that in public. You can't. Unless though. I'm doing it to cause a disturbance. Let's, 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 but if right. it's my general language, right. I'm allowed to say whatever if, I but want. If somebody's offended by it, though, it becomes. <laughs> you're not the feelings police, dude. Right, it's right. freedom of speech. Right. It's, do you it, really it want to enforce something it like that? Quite, what do you think is going to happen in 20 years? What are you talking about? Right? I would absolutely enforce going something from being like that. Cool we do it all the time. It's understandable to ridiculous. Well, it's because I can you're, you're, you're not in a conversation. You're, you're, you're correct. You most certainly can. 
You most I certainly can. can. Conversation. You most certainly can. I was just a conversation. You, they can tell me to go. Myself. You can do all of that. Okay, so the problem, the problem is, is what you can't do is when you're talking to a third party. Between you and I, you can he do that. He walked up to when me. You're doing he walked no, right no, he me walked up. Eyes. He walked up to this officer and he was speaking to this officer. He insinuated when you talk the start to, of a conversation by grinning you're not, at Listen, me. I'm trying to educate you on the law so you actually know what you're talking about because unfortunately you don't. I can okay. stand on a corner Disorderly and yell conduct. random people. You what can't. are you talking about? You yes, can't. Can. That's not that's not freedom of speech. I, just like you can't interacting with just third like party. being listen. Is just, this interacting with third party? Just like being in a theater where you can't yell fire, that's not that's free private speech. Private property. Limited okay. public forum. It, it doesn't matter about the it property. Does matter. It Limited doesn't. public forum. It matters how it's classified. Well, I'll tell you what. You continue to do it. When you get arrested for it, okay. you can then explain it to the judge and try to give your theory of okay. what you believe is correct. Is your opinion that this or, is interacting with third parties? Right? Like me holding this up. Yeah, this sure. Is, you're showing okay, it to other so people. I right? can put on the back of my pickup truck window, which would also be interacting with third parties, and there's okay. nothing you can do. The difference is you're in a public setting and you're talking my to truck somebody. You're verbalizing public. it, Whatever. okay? That, there's, yeah. there's a difference. Okay. And it's in the law. Well, it's, you can it's tell under them, disorderly don't conduct to me and talk like to me. Me. I'm not going to be so. yelling over to them. Okay. But I am going to be here every single week. Oh, and that's fine. Like I said, that's your prerogative, whatever, unless we know something else What's or we're giving... I'm off the Sergeant? No, just officer. Okay. Just a patrolman. I'm going to go clarify those laws. 6211. You're going to what? I'm going to go clarify what you're Putting a call on your screen. You most certainly can, sir. We've got supervisors and everything, and they will clarify that for you. Okay? That's why I said the problem is when you cross the line is when you go in and you start calling people names inside using using obscene language. On a public roadway. I'm not going to argue with you. You enjoy here, but if you continue to use obscene language, that bothers other people, you are going to be arrested for it, okay? I'm I just letting it, you know. I'm okay. um, You can doubt it all you want. Doubt it will go the way you want. Okay. You can move your car. Trying to get that. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah. So he swore to you, but he didn't make any threats to you, did he? Did he make any no, threats to you? No, he just called me a bitch and then he yeah. Tuesday and all that. Other. So what this officer is really trying to take this dude for something, because he's over asking, did, did he make any threats? Like, he really trying to find something on this dude. Yeah. yeah unfortunately, that's not against okay. the law. Right, yeah. And that's, that's why I wanted to make I sure. I that if there was something that I could arrest him for, I would, but unfortunately, I mean, being out there, it, you know, uh, obscene language, obscene language here, not in our in our presence, it, 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 we have to be able, we have to observe it in order for it to be a violation of law, and we didn't, unfortunately, but that's why I wanted to make sure if he made a threat, then that's something I can take a complaint on and arrest him for. But. Oh, no, I, I would have just not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> We're going to see you. What does the sign say? Go anywhere just yet. It says that they'll break. This place will break the vehicle. It'll damage uh, the vehicle. Okay, thank you. I just yeah. trying to figure out what it says. Yeah. So I, I recognize he was out last night outside in front of his house. Because uh, we had a disturbance down on. Oh, he lives in the city here. Yeah. And we had a disturbance in the area. And he was working on that back tire last night, like looking for leaks and stuff on it last night. So I, I, reckon, I know he, you know, had a, some sort of an issue with it, but. Yeah, and he brought it over the, the, the problem is, is the problem is is he can't he, he even knows he admitted that he has no proof that it was done here right but he believes it was right and that's because all we curved the tire but I mean, there's he no damage to the back. tire he yeah. could have done it yeah. at any point from then till now yeah <laughs> no not allowed <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good lord, it's just. I just hate that. Like, the, the lack of. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, he, he's got it worse than we do. <laughs> Muting for conference. I swear it should be a law for them not to mute their cameras. So, if we're. I'm. I'm He's saying it's valve them. It what is. you guys did in fucking engine work. Yeah. You did spark plugs. Yeah, so, so we curved it. You know. If there's a... If I can a, put a $2 in it, I will. If like while problem. we're here, anybody gets offended by his obscene language, yeah. let us know. Then we've got okay. cause yeah. to yeah. to uh, right. to take him for a disorderly right. conduct. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, I'd rather not see him arrested, but it's yeah. you know, very unreasonable. I'd rather not arrest him. <laughs> I'd rather him just go on his way. And, Back out of the you, 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 know, you know as well as I do is it's not going to deter somebody who's coming up to give you business oh, anyways. God, that yeah, sign yeah. is not going to deter them you anyways. You can't read it unless you stop right on right, top of right. it. Right, right. 
And if he, I told him, uh, the only thing I told him was as far as his language and stuff. Yeah. If if he's u- out there using obscene language and it's disturbing other people, yeah. then it's a disorderly conduct charge and he can be arrested yeah. for it. And, yeah, because uh, he was. He was calling him. Yeah. yeah. So. Not necessary. Yep. Oh, that car had no damage before. God damn it. <laughs> well, I don't know. Does Did you tell her I'm gonna be here every week? Does we hear you, pal? Everybody right. knows you have no job. I, and I told you already you once about the language. I'm not gonna tell you again, okay? We, yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's enough. They're offended by it. Yep. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back, sir. Okay. Right. You're gonna be arrested at this point for disorderly conduct and see language, okay? Yep. That's keys in my pocket. I explained it to you and I'm free in the speech. Oh, okay. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll be back tomorrow, don't worry. As long as you're not Next using obscene language. You do cheeseburgers? Just glad to give a call. I am pending. It's going to be a phone call. The complaint is... I wasn't rude until your boss called me irritating and walked away from the conversation. I'm calling it irritating and doing what you're doing are two totally different things. Well, yeah, I didn't thought they weren't. Hey, if this is the way you want to spend your life. ...that her kids go to every day. Let's do some work. Yeah. And I just will bust out the paperwork and get it done. Three. Six two zero seven county. Seven go ahead. Can you show one male in custody, please, the mail that I ran, and I'll be transporting from this location to the station for processing. and disorderly conduct. Like I said, you will get the opportunity to explain that in court, sir. You're not telling me anything I don't know. I literally just said I can't wait to see you in court. Okay. Your body cam's on, right? Yes, sir. Thank you for actually answering it this time. I, you, I didn't hear you ask me before if you did. Oh, I apologize. I but it was on, yeah, it was on from the moment I, from the moment I pulled up before I got out of my car. Yeah, muted or anything when you were talking to them? No, not when I was talking to anybody else on scene there besides my supervisor. Come on out, sir. Any chance I can go to the bathroom before we do this? Uh, I'm I really sure we got available. Yeah, I would Other disagree, but... Opinion of <laughs> possibly fact, but opinion of me being disorderly and directly going against that. That's oh, not being disrespectful to me. That's just violating well, the law. Being disrespectful to you as well. well. I think you've been disrespectful just the way you've been talking. Well, that's the way I talk, so it's my huh. speech thing. And fuck, indeed, right? it is. Person. You have that right. What's that? You're not the first person. Yeah. Yeah. Saying fuck in my language? Yeah. Or saying it out loud, you're not supposed to. Yeah, for sure. Not muddy. Can I just face the wall here for me? I'm going to take this off, take your left hand and place it on the wall up above your head, please. On the wall. If you hurt anyone's feelings or you offend anybody, you will get booked in the Cohoes County Jail, man. That is crazy. Is there a reason you didn't arrest anybody last night for language? Either of the two times you were there? Or is it just you actually wanted to do something this time because you like the business? Yeah, there's a... Uh, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know the business owner personally. Well, I'm just curious. There was yeah, there's two there? different. Oh, no, there was. There was a ton. Really? Two different scenarios. You don't think there was swearing there last night? I can't wait to get that body well, cam footage. There was lots of swearing there last night. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Six to one. You can argue it all you want. And that's it of that video. My take on that, bro. It's really crazy that this dude got arrested for offending somebody. And it's just wild how this officer was just trying to find anything to arrest this guy. Because you had his officer say this right here. Video. You've got First Amendment rights. I know I'm that. I'm fully aware of that. Yeah, no, no big deal. But it's free speech. No, it's not. Just so you know, when you're. 
Yes, it is. Listen, what foul, I just did is free speech. Foul language in a public setting, if it disturbs somebody, is not Aaron, free speech. Put, it, we have to be able, we have to observe it in order for it to be a violation of law. He didn't, unfortunately, but that's why I wanted to make sure if he made a threat, then that's something I can take a complaint on and arrest him for. But this guy wanted to arrest this guy so bad, and then when it came, when he said that last curse word, he was ready to arrest him, like right here. We, yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's enough. They're offended by it. It's just crazy. You could say cuss where you're going to go to jail. And in this officer's mind, that's the law. And it's just wild the fact that they took this dude to jail for that over just saying his own opinion, saying how he feels. This officer just threw free speech out the window, just called it a day, which is wild. That's my take on it, though. Let me know what y'all think about the comment section, how you feel about the co-host police department for arresting this guy for offending people in public and cussing and saying that's illegal and just taking him to jail. They said, well, you know what? You could just fight with it with the judge. And that's the craziest part about it. They take you to jail and know they wrong. They're just going to be like, well, just fight it with the judge. You just call it a day after that, which is wild. That's my take on it, though. Let me know what y'all think about the comment section. Make sure to like, subscribe, and y'all have a wonderful day.